Prince Charles went ballistic with Prince Edward when he broke media embargo on Prince William at university, a royal biographer reveals. Prince Charles did his best to ensure Prince William could get on with his normal studies when he started at the University of St. Andrews. William began his studies in 2001 and met the future Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, in their student halls during Freshers' Week. However, at the same time, Prince Edward got embroiled in a row with his brother when his media company broke Charles' privacy rules. Katie Nichols' 2010 book William and Harry takes a behind-closed-doors look at the 2001 incident. She narrates how, when William started university, there was a ban on any media coverage of him outside limited approved occasions. Despite this, a TV film crew from Prince Edward's media company Ardent was discovered in the university town, making a documentary for an American network. Ms. Nickel writes, while the palace would only say that it was disappointed by the unfortunate episode, Prince Charles was said to be apoplectic. She adds, his angry call to his youngest brother at Bagshot Park could apparently be heard in the room adjacent to his study at St. James's Palace. Andrew Neal, who was Lord Rector at St. Andrews at the time, told Ms. Nickel, a few days into term I got a call to say a TV crew was still filming at St. Andrews. When we found out it was from Prince Edward's film company, all hell let loose. It was unbelievable and we were furious as well as bemused. Mr. Neal, who currently works for the BBC and fronts their flagship daily politics program, went on to claim that the Prince of Wales called his brother a effing idiot in the fallout. He added, it was the idiot uncle who broke the embargo. He had been taking students for curries and trying to get information out of them. When Charles heard he went ballistic. I was told from an excellent source that he picked up the phone to his brother and called him a effing idiot, and told him in no uncertain terms to get out of the town. Mark Bolland, who was Prince Charles and William's press secretary at the time, confirmed, the Prince of Wales was very unhappy about what had happened. Ms. Nicol goes on to write, as far as Charles was concerned, the incident, for which Edward publicly apologized, only served to highlight his argument that members of the royal family could not pursue independent careers and also carry out royal duties. It was his opinion that if Edward ever represented the royal family he could not have commercial interests, and this sorry episode perfectly illustrated why. 